Howdy y'all. Welcome back to my chamber of chaos. I appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, short update on the old Miss. She's home. She's doing as well as we can hope for. Um, that's about it. And as well as we can hope for. Uh, every day is could be the last. We don't know at this point. She could rally again. Nobody, nobody really knows. But that's that's where that is, um, and we will deal with life as it as it does as it does with us. So, anyway, I went to uh, see my parents just today at my brother's house. They came, they flew into Sanford, Florida, uh, the day before, and we went out to dinner last night. Um, but my brother found a few things uh, in a some packages he picked up to sell at the flea market and one of them is this uh, awesome deal you can see here on my chapeau I hope that focuses so I saw that and I said I know exactly where that's going and he looked at his lady friend he said see I told you I told you that's going right on his hat <laughs> uh, well, let's see what else he, he had a few other things there that kind of went along with um, so I can do this right. It's, it's another hat pin type thing or whatever. Kind of a, a cross, a sword with a, a stone. It's hard, whoa. It's hard for me to hold it. I have to tell my shoe. <sighs> pin side up. <laughs> There we go. So there's that one. And then there's this one. Which I really like this. I got a thing for dragons. I'm, I'm not even sure where the heck the lens is on this. But I think that's focusing. And then I... I can't figure out what exactly this is. I didn't see it in the right light. It's a spider type ring. I thought it was a skull. A skull spider, which would be really appropriate because I, I do a bunch of, used to do a bunch of drawings like that. But, um, it's, a, it's a little tight. And then it's a little loose. But that's okay. And then all the way from uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, I think. Or just outside New Hope, somewhere in that area in Pennsylvania. My, uh, my niece sent me a bottle of homemade habanero hot sauce. Not her homemade. She doesn't make it, um, from what I understand. This is this is bottled by a friend of hers, and um, yeah, everybody knows how much I like hot sauce. So, uh, figures, I'll be back. Oh, I hate the telephone. Lord of mercy, I hate telephone. It's bad enough, excuse me, I'm going to turn this thing off because it's reflecting and distracting me. It's bad enough that this, that this phone and that phone and this phone, they've all been going off, you know, I mean, at least most of the time they're going off for, you know, dealing with something for the old Miss or medications are coming in or, you know, something. They're going to change the mattress or get a phone call like that that it's the wrong number uh, yeah. anyway where was I oh yeah hot sauces so this is a habanero hot sauce uh, she recommends just a little dab will do you um, y'all know me and my hot sauces so I will I'm tempted to open it and just try it 
but then again I wanted I want to do a, a comparison with a couple because I got that that one for Christmas too but you know what sometimes you got to do what you got to do and this is bugging me my uh, brother's lady friend enjoys hot stuff too and we were out for dinner last night and I went out back out to the truck and I got me a bottle of my El Yucatero Habanero special blend for my sandwich. And uh, she tried it and she fell in love too. <laughs> my brother tried it and he wasn't in love with it. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what we got here. Boy, that's tasty. Got a bugle. It's got a lot of the, a lot of the front of the tongue. It's got a lot back here at the back of the tongue, and run right there at the base of the throat. Fill that up just a little bit. Mm. I'm going to send this to her, to my, my niece's uh, Facebook. I'll send a link. Thank you, darling. This stuff is good. It's definitely, oh yeah. Wow. That's right up there. I mean, now this is one of my favorite habanero sauces, so. This has got, this, this stuff has a, it has a long linger. That's about full. Two totally different flavors. Both really good. I can still taste this. This is still gonna be my go-to, one of my go-tos, only because I can buy this on the shelf. This is a special blend. Um, apparently even my, even my niece can't get it very often, so it was a special occasion for her to actually send it to me. Thank you, babe, I love it. I love it, I love you. Ah, yeah, those are good. Ow. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know if I'm going to get a thumbnail out of this or not. <laughs> we shall see. Maybe that'll work. 
Let me know what y'all think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you want to check out my Facebook page, the link is in the description box, wherever that is on your device. That stuff lingers. Ah, my, tongue, my tongue's still... Uh, Still tingly. Um, I'll have, I'll have some videos, links in in with in the description box wherever that happens to be, of uh, similar videos. Um, you know, Mother Nature has been uh, unbelievable here lately. Uh, I'm going to add a link. I'm going to add a picture to the end of this. It was so cold here. In Jacksonville, Florida, we had ice, ice buildup, like big ice. You'll see uh, one of the Grand Brats swing sets just covered with it. it it's gorgeous and cool. It's terrible because it's cold, but it's really gorgeous. Anyway, Mother Nature has been really, you know, <sighs> messing with us here the past couple of months, or a cu couple of years, actually, and uh, d just, like, devastating people's lives. Homes have been destroyed. Um, rebuilt and destroyed again. Hurricanes coming through. Massive fires. Mudslides. <coughs> flooding. Ah. And then just, you know, regular acts of accidents happening. Fires in homes and auto accidents. And a young, a young friend, uh, or my, my daughter-in-law's cousin's boyfriend or husband, I'm not exactly sure, recently lost his life on a, in an auto accident, leaving behind a, a, a little one, and I'm, I'm, I think the other, I think the, uh, I think Randa might be pregnant. Life sucks, man. It really does. But, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, Give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Apologize if you have to. Forgive. Life's too short. Don't live with regrets. Regrets suck. They really do. No regrets on my part. Until I see y'all again. Hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all. Bye-bye.